things. Hey guys, Omar here with uh, ABC Austin Source Express and today we're going to learn how to remove a condenser or the outdoor unit uh, from start to finish. So here I am here with one of my technicians and as you notice we put our gauges on the blue one goes on the thicker one he's removing the cap and the red one goes on the smaller one uh, if you notice the, blue, the bigger one has insulation which is normal and the small one has what's called a filter dryer and that's normal for it to not to have any insulation so we hooked up our gauges and we have what's called pressure in them. So we have 118 on one side and 117 on the other side. Uh, these are digital gauges by Phil Peace. So what he's doing right now, he's closing the high side. We're gonna do what's called a pump down. So he uses this tool. It has a little ratchet. This is the ratchet and it's got a little uh, like Ellen wrench and now he's going to check for power we have power and he's pushing the contactor pushing the contactor in with an insulated uh, screwdriver and if you notice the pressure is starting to go down that means all the Freon is coming to the outdoor unit Go down, go down. Go down, go down. And uh, we'll close the other one as well. So now we're going to close the, what's called the low side. And it'll push. It'll start going down. You see how it's going down? All the way down and you see that it went all the way down that little the other one as well okay both of these went down all the way down there so what he pushed earlier this is your contactor so this right here this is the power that comes in. This is your power that comes in. It, it comes down this here, this here, this one. It comes in and it goes to a, black, a white one and a black one. So when they push this little, this is a contactor, when they push it, there's power. So now, since we're through, we want to disconnect the unit from the power. So we come up here, open that, that's called a disconnect, and we pull that out. So this is called a pull out. So we just pull that out. Now we wanna get our multimeter. And we always wanna double check, make sure there's no power. So he's going to go from one side of the contactor on the black side and then that's ground and we have no power there. Then he goes from the other side to ground, no power there, then each other, there's no power. So that means there's, there's no power. So now what we're going to do what's called, we're going to disconnect the high side, I'm, I'm sorry, disconnect the high voltage from the actual unit. So he comes and he's gonna disconnect the, uh, disconnecting the white one from the contactor, from the bottom side of the contactor, and then the white one as well. There's one, and there's the other. We need the ground. There's 
you're always a ground. They will want to take off the little ring on it. So we turn it counterclockwise. And disconnect the low voltage or thermostat wire. There's two wires, this one and the other one. Uh, and the bottom comes down. So you have taken off the high voltage and the low voltage on a condenser. We just took off the capacitors. No need to do that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut some of that insulation off the copper line. Because now we're gonna we're gonna cut with the uh, tube cutter. We're gonna cut those copper lines to remove them from the system. So we're gonna walk to the truck to get the uh, the tube cutter really quick. Just walk to the truck to get the tube cutter. Where's my other technician? Customer's house. Alex, uh -huh. you got a tube cutter? A what? Tube cutter? Tube cutter, PVC cutter? No, uh, cover, yeah. yeah. Excuse me, another one. Sorry, guys.
we're going to cut the copper line send it down first and we send it down that way when we cut there's no debris that goes inside it'll be a clean cut Doesn't matter what way you turn, either clockwise or counterclockwise. We've got one. Now we're going to do the other one. And it down the same way so when we make our cut it's clean and again no debris goes in and by saving all the freon in the outdoor unit it's called a pump down again we close the there's the other one removed so no freon was leaked out. It all came back into the, it's called the condenser in here. So we close one of the valves, which is the small one or the liquid line or the high side. That one, the one he's moving right now. That one there, we close that one, close it down, push the little inside. There's a little lever, you pull, push it down with the ratchet. And then we push what's called the contactor, which is this one right here. We push it in, uh, all the freon come right there. All the Freon is saved in the outdoor unit, which is right here, in here. And then uh, at the end, once these uh, go down to zero on both sides, then we uh, pull the power out, disconnect, and then we close the liquid, the high side, the low side, this one here, the big one, this one right here. We push it down also, and then we remove the power, which is this one. That's power one, and then the... Low voltage is, oh, it's on here as well. This is high voltage and this is low voltage right here. And then we cut, we sand them down, sand one, sand the other down, cut this one, cut the other one. And we have successfully um, removed or disconnected a, what's called a condenser, which is the outdoor unit. So now we're going to twist it off of the, uh, off of the pad. Let's see if we can move it here. Move these tools to the side. Yeah, that's it. Pretty simple. So it is guys, that's how you uh, disconnect. That's how you disconnect the condenser, the outdoor unit. Now we just load it up to the dolly. Load it up to the dolly and haul it off. Pick it up and haul it off. There it goes. There. That's where it was before, and it's no longer there. 
So hey guys, I will I'll show you a video on how to solder a condenser in there as well, a new one. And uh, teach you guys how to flush the lines on the uh, drain lines and also the copper lines. Anytime you're switching over from an old unit to a new unit, we always, uh, whether it's the old Freon, which is R22, uh, which is no longer available, or the R410A, we always wanna flush the lines, the copper lines. And uh, we use a, a certain solvent that we use uh, that's sold at the store and helps keep those lines clean. That way there's no debris or anything in the lines as well. So uh, on my next video, I'll show you guys how to solder one in and then how to pull a vacuum, how to nitro uh, test it with nitrogen for any leaks. But uh, this is all for now. And uh, uh, ABC Austin Service Express, 512-448-0532. Uh, you can also find us on the web at www.abcaustinacnheating.com. Okay, thanks guys. And see you guys on the next video. All right, bye-bye.